I'm Steve Newman, and uh, here's a brief history of Tananas. Tananas is a word from the Indian dialect Telugu, and it means drunk. Um, I was living in London between 1983 and 1987, but I came back each year for four to six weeks. And um, in 1986, I landed in Johannesburg on a Friday morning. And in the evening, I went to a ven music venue in Bramfontein called Jamison's. And there I saw Kenyan musician Simba Murray. And with him on stage was bass player Jitu Baloy. Mozambican. I loved his presence and his playing and when he came off stage for a break I said I'd like to jam with him at some point. Um, Ian Herman, the drummer, I met um, some years before that, um, early 80s in Cape Town through a mutual friend and um, at, at that point, we threatened to get together and jam. And as it happened, Ian and Jitu were the house rhythm section for Shifty Records. And uh, we got together at uh, Shifty Studio and um, did some jamming and rehearsing and then we started playing uh, at Jamison's on a Thursday night and traveled down to Durban for Friday, Saturday, Sunday gig at a venue called the Blue Note at Hotel California in Durban. So we were doing this for six weeks. Um, then I went back to London till the end of 87 and when I returned in in 87 we started up again and um, playing around the country at various venues there were really nice venues at the time there was a very nice spirit um, audiences were mixed and um, there were fantastic acts like Sakile, Bayete, and so on, Simba Mori, Pongolo. Um, yeah, the, the venues were in, in Johannesburg, Jamison's in Cape Town, the bass and the jazz den in Durban, Funkies, and uh, yeah, we got around the country a bit, and 1988 we recorded our first album called Tananas at Shifty Studio, and surprisingly it got lots of airplay on Radio 5, and uh, even charted. So uh, suddenly we were kind of popular, not pop, but popular. And um, subsequently, we did an album every two years. Our second album, Spiral, was with Gallo. And we did, uh, well, Spiral Time, uh, Orchestra Mundo, Una Munakwa, and a couple of compilations with Gallo. Then we went to Sony Records and we did two with them. First one was called Seed, the second one was called Alive in Joburg. So that's the brief discography. We were we were a very well traveled act. In fact, I learned from a quiz program at the time that we were the most widely traveled South African act at that time. This was kind of the late 80s into the 90s. 
we uh, were lucky and privileged enough to play um, concerts and festivals all over the world except for Canada and South America. So, um, Tananas played Japan, Hong Kong, Australia, um, Singapore, um, Europe, we did Sweden, France, Spain, UK, Canary Islands, USA, um, and uh, more locally, we did Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. And um, yeah, we, as I say, we were very lucky and privileged to have played on these festivals because they featured a lot of musicians that we loved, heroes of ours. Um, I'm not going to name drop at all. But, um, yeah, the WOMED festivals were amazing. The people behind the WOMED festival um, were a absolute angels. They treated everybody the same. We all stayed in the same hotel. It wasn't a case of, um, as it is locally, where the American musicians stay in the five-star accommodation and um, the locals stay in uh, the road lodge or whatever. Uh, everybody was treated the same and uh, it was a great feeling. Um, Tananas were influenced by many, many cultures and uh, flavors herbs and spices, so you'll find um, Cuba to the Caribbean, uh, Cape to Canary Islands, Africa to Asia, Brazil, China, India, various influences, and um, we considered ourselves, ourselves a, a world music band but we were embraced by the jazz fraternity and um, as well as other um, circles, music circles, locally and abroad. Um, Tananas were also um, a big uh, learning curve for me because we didn't do we didn't have the same approach as most other bands and musicians where especially in the rock and jazz genres where everybody phrases together the same rhythmic patterns or melodic patterns um, we took a different approach we kind of had different parts that interwove rather than uh, phrasing every, everything the same all together and um, we our approach was very much like children when it came to um, writing or composing which uh, we didn't really view our work as composing or writing but uh, we would just come, one of us with a vague idea, the others put their input and uh, sometimes within minutes we had a new tune or song. Uh, Jita Baloy was amazing because he could just uh, off the top of his head put lyrics either chanting or um, a song straight out of his head, not actually written down or um, thought out, which was amazing for me. Um, yes, my time is up now. Thank you very much for uh, listening. I hope uh, you find this informative. Thank you.